This is a Pythagoras video series and video 4 testing for right angled triangles this time. So to test for a right angled triangle we use the Pythagoras th Pythagoras theorem so let's just remind ourselves of that theorem for any right angled triangle the square on the hypotenuse equals the sum of the squares on the other two sides we're getting pretty familiar with it by now. Now we're going to restate this rule as a test for seeing if a triangle is a right angle triangle or not. So we're kind of saying that if Pythagoras theorem works for a given triangle, then that triangle must be a right angle triangle. Now what do we mean by Pythagoras working? Well Pythagoras works if the left hand side of this Pythagoras statement we make equals the right hand side. Well that we, we say that Pythagoras theorem is working for that triangle. Now we'll, we'll illustrate that by a few examples. Let's have a look. Okay, is this triangle below a right angle triangle? We're asked to test to see if this is a right angle triangle. There's no uh, right angle symbol on it just yet, but we might be able to add one later if we, if we decide it's a right angle triangle. So let's see if Pythagoras theorem works on this triangle. Let's see if these numbers work. Uh, okay, so uh, Pythagoras would say the hypotenuse, the longest side there, if it is a hypotenuse, <laughs> um, the longest side there, 13 squared, should equal 12 squared plus 5 squared. So let's see if, uh, if this makes sense mathematically. 13 squared is 169, uh, 12 squared is 144, and 5 squared is 25. So that ends up being 169 on the left hand side and oh 169 on the right hand side. So yes the left hand side does equal the right hand side. So that illustrates to us that Pythagoras theorem has worked for this particular triangle with these particular lengths. So we'd say yes in answer to the question is the triangle below a right angle triangle? Yes because Pythagoras, Pythagoras theorem worked for those numbers on that triangle. Second example, we're asked to find out whether the triangle below is a right angle triangle. So let's see if these numbers work in a Pythagoras sort of setting. So the bigger number squared, 7 squared, should equal 6 squared plus 5 squared if this is a right angle triangle. 49 on the left hand side when we do 7 squared. 6 squared is 36 and 5 squared is 25. And we get there a result of 49 equals 61. Now I'm not sure what uh, what your maths is like but I'm pretty sure 49 doesn't equal 61. So we could say that left hand side doesn't equal the right hand side. It's a kind of a false mathematical statement. So that kind of indicates that Pythagoras has not worked for those numbers and therefore we have found out that that triangle is not a right angled triangle. So the test for right angled triangle if Pythagoras theorem works for that triangle, for those lengths and those numbers, then the triangle must be a right angle triangle. So the Pythagoras works if it makes the left hand side equal the right hand side in a mathematically sensible scenario. So hope that helps. That's the tests for uh, right angle triangles using Pythagoras' theorem.